Hello, my name is Maria. Hello, my name is Maria. This is our secondary school, Jaume Colis. It's situated at the northwest of Vic, a city near to Barcelona. This area, few years ago, was an agricultural area. Nowadays, it's an sportive one, where there has been an important increase of housing. The high school was founded in 1968, because in this year, there was an increase in the number of the students in the state. It was located at the outskirts of Vic, therefore teachers and students had to do a long way on a narrow road or went from the center of Vic crossing train ways. The new building was built at the end of the 60s in a land given that was expanded for the administration. It's a stand model of that year that was replicated in other places. The first name of Jaume Calis was Instituto de la Enseñanza Media Mixto de Vic. The name Jaume Calis is in honor of the lawyer from Vic, Jaume Calis, and the name was authorized for the ministry in 1969. Other ways, the high school was remodeled few years ago. The actual center have a big event room, a library full of books and different independent laboratories like the physics and chemistry lab or the social science lab, both with the necessary instruments to work. Also, there is a music classroom with a lot of instruments that the students can play, technology classrooms with a lot of tools for computer rooms, two different art and craft rooms, and a an spectacular playground with different spark cars and entries to the pavilion where nowadays important volleyball matches have place. In the first years, there were studies of book and co, but actually there are the ESO and baccalaureate in the model is science and technology, humanities and social science. Joe Macaulay was the first public center to the baccalaureate from Zona and also one of the first schools to use the Catalan as the first language. But at the beginning, there were a lot of problems. There weren't the sufficient teacher. There were materials to the class. There wasn't reach any bracket from any story. However, more of 200 of students did the license plate to do baccalaureate at the daytime. And for a lot of the request, they decided to do one baccalaureate at the evening. A surprise idea. In 1994 was the 25th birthday of Jaume Calis. And the people did a party with a lot of graduated students. Also, they did a journal about 1993-1994. In this journal, there were a few pages about Instival. Instival is an important celebration of Jaume Calis and the most prominent. This party started before 1983 and we do it before the Christmas holidays. It's a characteristic party and other centers also do it. Each class prepare a representation and the last day before holidays we represent it in front of the other students and teachers. The class that do the best representation of each category is the winner who receive money as a prize that the student used to do something together. To the end of the party, some teachers do amusing representation. Also, we celebrate other celebrities, like La Castañada or San Jordi, different traditional parties of Catalonia. In San Jordi, some students participate in a cake competition and deliver of awards. The most important is the literary prize, a prize where people from all the region can participate. But the last year was a special. We could celebrate the 50th birthday of Jaume Calis. We did this photo 
where all the students make a big 50. Also, we did a hot cocoa party. At the beginning was planned to do a walk, but the weather didn't allow it. They made a concert at Atlantida, an important theater. This is Town Hall. The oldest part of the Town Hall building was built in the, in the 14th century, and today is a tourist office. Over time, the complex was extended to the main square by buying to the houses around it. This is the birthplace of San Miguel dos Santos, who is the patron saint of Vic. Uh, this is why some men are called Miguel in Vic. His first day is celebrated on the 5th of July. On this day, Vic also celebrates its main festival. On this day, local authorities and citizens carry a statue of the saint in a solemn and festive procession to the cathedral, followed by the giants and figures with oversized heads. Hospital. In the Middle Age, hospitals were built on side the walls of the city but close to one of the city gates. This was the case in the Vic when off, the, when off, the, when off its merchants left out its goods and money to the city for the building of the hospital for travels. Abandoned the children and the sick people. The Episcopal Museum was opened in 1891 thanks to the efforts of a group of Greek intellectuals and clergymen from the Catalan Renaissance period. It has over 29,000 pieces and it has been declared a museum of national interest. It has one of the Europe's best collections of medieval art, including masterpieces of painting and sculpture from the Catalan Romanesque and Gothic periods. This is a statue of Bishop Ulivo. Ulivo was born in a family of Catalan counts and before becoming Bishop of Vic, he was the abbot of the monastery of Santa Maria de Ripoll, one of the most important monasteries in Catalonia. He also founded the Monastery of Santa Maria de Montserrat. He was a major influence on society in the 11th century, when Catalonia was establishing itself as a country and Vic was a place of key importance. This is a cathedral. The surviving elements of the cathedral built by Bishop Olivo in the 11th century are the bell tower, the crypt, and the remains of the crouch of Santa Maria. The Romanis Bell Tower, one of Vic's main landmarks, is the tallest in Catalonia. This is inside the cathedral. At the turn of the 20th century, Jude Maria Sir was commissioned, commissioned by the bishop to, to decorate the cathedral inside. This way is the tanneries. You can observe a series of former leather tanning factories, including the drying facilities on the upper floors. This was the city's most traditional industrial activity and survived until recently. From the Middle Ages to the mid-20th century, this was the place where leather tanning was carried out, next to the river, due to water needs of this industry. By the turn of the 19th century, there was up to 24 tanneries. In the Middle Ages, this was of the most important squares, since it marked the division line between the area of the city under Episcopal control and the area under the control of Cows. Most, most of the squares is now occupied by the, by the Cruz of La Pieta, built in the in 17th, 17th century. This is the Roman temple. The temple is the only surviving building of the city of Oslo, as it was closed in Roman times. It was built in the 1st century, on one of the highest sites in the city, facing eastwards in accordance to the rules of the people. In 1882, it was demolished due to its deterioration. Years later, the remains of the temple were discovered and the restoration process got underway. Today, it constitutes a unique example of this kind of building in Catalonia. It is regularly used to host exhibitions and cultural events. These are the walls of King, of King Peter III. In the 14th century, for the saints proposed, King Peter III, the ceremonious, ordained the construction of the walls named after him. The walls have 40 towers and 7 gates. This is St. Philip Church. It was built in the Baroque period and it displays the restoration of an altarpiece destroyed in 1936. This church is popular because in a famous book, this is the church where the main character goes to pray. This is a statue of a student of Vic. Vic has always been an important city for higher education. That's back to the Cathedral School in the Middle Ages. 
continuing with the liter literary universi universi university in the, in the modern period, that the twin time seminary in 18th and 19th centuries, and the present day university, university of um, in this state, in this state, in state, we can we can see that this man is addressed like the student in the in the century of nineteenth. Hello, we are Judith Poe, Rahway, and Abdelifa, and we are going to explain you the sportive zone and the sucre. Uh, we are students of Jama Kalis, and we participate in the. Erasmus project Futurizing and we will explain the city Vic. Vic is the capital of Uzona and it's an hour from Barcelona and we think that it's very nice and beautiful to show you. <laughs> This is a bill, a hill you can do, uh, for example, basketball, skating, and uh, indoor soccer. <laughs> yes, like you can see, you can learn how to climb, and then you can do gymnastics. Barcelona al Caire canten sirenes cançons rebels Dos dels tambors d'un mar en ruïnes Soc pastor arran de tot un cir Sempre a punt per robar la lluna Sobre la pell el sol ens crema, si estem junts crema la nit, malgrat camino sense cap casa, sóc el xupluc dels teus petons, vinc a encendre a poc a la... This is the sucre xem, and it is very soft, and here, this is the opposite. People of me, com música viva is listening to music and content. The Anella Verde, the green ring in English, is a natural route around Vic and it takes about 32 kilometers. As you can see, it has three parts, the Gurri route, the Fondals Frares route and the Meadow route. This is the Meadow one and it goes from Vic to Laguisho. By the way, you can find different things like an ice well, two surfs, Laguisho and La Riera. Here, in those fields, you can see the ice well. In the past, people used to put the ice in those wells and use it to conserve meat, fish or other types of food. The ice was taken from the river Meadow during the winter when the water was frozen and they put it into the well. The next stop is La Fonda de Talaya, but before you arrive, you can see different types of trees and plants like ash trees or groves and obviously the river Meadow. La Font de la Talaya is a surge built in 1936, and as you can see, it's not very big. The surge is next to some fields with enormous pumpkins. If you follow the path, you'll arrive into the next route, La Font dels Frares. The first thing you see is a little but nice waterfall. The water that falls down is from the river Gurri, that you will see during all the way. Here it was a surge too, but now it's lost, and in the past it used to be a meeting place, especially in summer.
After this, the river starts doing some gears. Those gears are the Venage's meanders. If you go by bike, it could be difficult because there are some steps and you can fall into the river, but it's such a nice place. Finally, there are the Poseras. They are special rocks which let you cross the river. But why are so special? It's because they have the shape of a heart and they are so nice. And that's all. We hope you like it so much and thanks for watching it.